Margaret Mead once quoted that you should never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. With that being said, this morning we're going to talk about the southernmost HIV AIDS ride, also known as the Smart Ride. Now this was born out of a dream to make a real and significant difference in the lives of those impacted, affected, and at risk for HIV and AIDS. Karen, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. Good morning, Jenna. Thank you. Well, it's wonderful having AIDS Help back on the show, and this sounds like such a neat event. Karen, let's talk about what exactly the Smart Ride is. The Smart Ride it is a 165-mile, two-day bike ride from Miami to Key West. Mm -hmm. um, it started approximately nine years ago by a small group of individuals who now have formed a nonprofit organization called TSR Adventures. Mm -hmm. And they produced the ride, which benefits this year seven aid service organizations uh, as far north as Orlando and including AIDS Help here in Key West. So it is so fortunate then that we have it down here in Key West. It is. is awesome. How much does this raise in, in years past, Karen? Well, the um, last year we raised about $680,000. Total over the nine rides, or eight rides so far, is $3.3 million. Last year, AIDS Help Share was $111,000. Significant amount of money for us. That is so awesome. And now, Karen, how many years have you personally been participating in this? This is my sixth ride. Mm -hmm. um, the first year I was a rider, and since then I got involved as a planning member for AIDS Help. Mm -hmm. So it's, okay, so let me get this straight. It's two days, yep. and you're riding your bike from Miami down to Key West. Correct. Do you have to be, you have to be riding your bike, right? Uh, you can ride your bike or you can crew. We need a lot of help. Mm -hmm. um, there's, this year there's so far 755 people registered, riders and crew. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably end up with about 350 riders and maybe 300 support members. So it takes a lot of people to put this together. Absolutely. And yeah. now what if there is rain? If there's rain, we ride. You ride um, still. Sure, mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. it's uh, tropical storm conditions. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. But at, we've been fortunate that we've never had to stop a ride. I think this is so wonderful that you have put this together. And now I understand that you also have something going on at Fantasy Fest, a float mm -hmm. that's part of this. Tell me about it. Correct. Um, in order to participate in the Smart Ride, mm -hmm. AIDS Help has to help with the production costs because one of the unique things about this ride is that 100% of the pledge money raised by the riders goes back to the agencies. None of it is used for production. Mm -hmm. So uh, AIDS Help share is approximately $8,000 to help with those costs. Yeah. And we have to find a way to raise that money so it doesn't come out of our general budget. Mm -hmm. It has to be an event unique and strictly donated to Smart Ride. And a couple of members of our fundraising committee this year had mm -hmm. this great idea to sell seats on a Fantasy Fest float mm -hmm. to allow people who've never had a chance to participate in that way to cross it off of their, their Key West bucket list mm -hmm. um, and get on a float. Mm -hmm. And you know, you make reference to the Key West bucket list. David Sloan, who we've had on the show before, he's a great author here, he did write a book called The Key West Bucket mm -hmm. List and it actually is on his bucket list that you need to write a float. That's right, number 50 on <laughs> number, his bucket list. So yeah. it is something that needs to be done. And if you get on this float, you're, you're doing something for a great cause. Absolutely. You're, you're benefiting AIDS Help in two ways, by bringing awareness to AIDS Help um, and by get, giving us the possibility of continuing to participate in this ride mm -hmm. um, year after year. It's, and Go now, ahead. Well, speaking of Fantasy Fest, right. I wanted to say you guys have your other most important fundraiser going on right now. That's right. Right now, it's, we're in the coronation season, so mm -hmm. we're leading up to the coronation of the King and Queen of Fantasy Fest, which is a week from Friday. Mm -hmm. So lots of events going on there. Um, the best place to find out about them is our website. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you're interested in riding on this float, and this is open to locals and tourists alike, um, contact Pam Damala at AIDS Help at the mm -hmm. phone number. Yeah, the phone number is on the bottom of the screen along with the website. And I just have to ask, how is the Queen and King and all of that stuff going? It's, I mean, gone, it's going great. It's okay. such, we have such dedicated King and Queen candidates this year who are mm -hmm. just out there giving 100% plus mm -hmm. um, to this. It's hard work. They put, it, it takes a year of, of work mm -hmm. from the time you decide to run 
um, put all, together all your events and actually get to Coronation Day. It's mm -hmm. a year's worth of work, mm -hmm. and we are so grateful for every one of them. Mm -hmm. it, it's been wild out there and fun. It, it yeah. has, and we had one of your king candidates on, Marky. Oh, yeah, and he's he, great. I mean, he was saying how you have to basically, you know, dedicate everything mm -hmm. to this campaign, and he has put so much time and energy into it, and I know the other candidates yeah. have as well. Yeah, they have. Now, Karen, this is still, of course, open to the public. If they want to get involved with the Smart Ride or the Float, you still can have many more people sign up, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Smart Ride, actually, registration is closed. Okay. So you can no longer ride, you no longer can crew, mm -hmm. but we have lots of opportunities for people here in Key West. Um, when the, the day that we ride in, we like cheerleaders, and there'll mm -hmm. be information about where you can go to watch the riders come in. Mm -hmm. um, also help at the high school, which is where our holding area is. Mm -hmm. People ride in, stay there until they can go downtown for, they, there's a parade through town. Mm -hmm. so, I bet so. this would be the sight to see, that's yeah, for sure. It is. It's mm -hmm. an amazing, amazing event. If you've mm -hmm. not ever been a part of it, it'll change your life. Mm -hmm. it, it truly is a life-changing experience. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Karen, You're for welcome. being on this morning and talking about this. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after this.